Hi Virgo, it's Sloan Rhodes here with your Life Purpose Career and Money reading for mid-February through March 2020 or whenever you are watching this video or listening to this recording, bearing in mind that all of my YouTube videos are available in audio format only so you can listen to them when you're doing your errands or driving your car. So and there's links below um, to the podcast. And Virgo, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm drawing one card from the Life Purpose deck by Doreen Virtue, three cards from the Archangel Power Tarot for past, present, future position, and one card from the Money Tarot by Eugene Vinitsky, looking at your money, a quick peek at your money. Okay, there we go, Sun Moon Rising, mid-February to March 2020. Freedom. Oh, love it. Options. <laughs> well, these are very general. Okay, so for some of you Virgos, this may be very frustrating, and for some of you, it may feel like a relief. But we have freedom. You're free to do what you choose, Virgo. And then we have options under the deck. This may be where you've been at. Consider the career possibilities that are open to you. It may be that you have been weighing your options. What are, What do I want to do? Where do I want to go next? What's the best use of my time and energy and, and gifts in the world? You know. Um, for some of you, there may have been a Libra involved in just looking at the scales. Um, and here we have freedom. You're free to do what you choose. Something more playful. Like maybe that you're wanting to partner with someone as well with those dolphins. You know? Who's my, where's my pod? <laughs> you know, where's my, my tribe, my group? You're free to do what you choose. You may have help here as well. Um, again, your, your, your people showing up for you. Um, to help support you, or maybe that you are just looking for them, you know, wanting to play more Virgo. You are a hardworking sign, Earth sign. Um, freedom. You're free to do what you ch what you choose. It's up to you. You know, so many times, especially with Earth signs, but especially with Virgos. Virgos are always wanting to be of service. Usually, you know, um, how can I how can I help? <laughs> you know, very common for Virgos. Um, but it's not about helping others. It's about expressing what's under that, which is your natural gifts of efficiency, fairness, um, discernment, all of that. You know, of course you have gifts, and of course you want to help others as part of your, you know, uh, your nature in general. Um, but here you have this beautiful opportunity to be free of what you were doing in the past, possibly. Or taking aspects of what you have previously been doing and bring them forward in a new, in a new way, that provides more freedom for you, that feels less um, narrow. Again, you've been weighing your options here under the deck. Carefully, slowly, contemplatively. Maybe that you want to travel, you know, with that freedom. Take a vacation during this particular time frame to the seaside. Or just maybe you're feeling more playful in this particular time frame. Let's get some additional cards. Virgo, past, present, future. What's going on in February through March? Mm. Eight of Raphael, <laughs> Eight of Cups, a page of Ariel right in the center, very beautiful, and Divine Guidance, the Hierophant in the reverse, um, in the near future, and the page of Michael <laughs> under the deck. Kind of goes with that options card, right? Um, this, this following this line of inquiry, questioning, doing some research, research. You know, here we have you, the King of Ariel, possibly you, someone who's very grounded, you know. Um, so we have the aid of Raphael in the recent past.
right? It kind of goes with this options, this contemplation. Moving on to something that feels, you've been calling, you've been called towards something, being called towards something in the recent past. There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, Virgo, like I already said, you know, not for someone else. A spiritual quest. Something's calling to you. You feel it. You know it. You're not sure what it is maybe yet. It's in the recent past. Weighing your options. Time to decide under that, right? But in the present moment, whatever the present is for you, you have the page of Ariel. Independent study. Being invested in. Investing in something. That will be long-lasting. Right? Being gifts. Maybe you're gifted some money and inheritance, dividends, trusts, physical gifts, scholarships, this kind of thing. Again, we have this idea of freedom. And in the near future, with the Hierophant, divine guidance in this deck, the search for meaning in life. Here we go in the recent past, right? Uh, but it is in the reverse. Turning tradition on its head doing something in, in an um, untraditional way. You can still be the wise teacher, you know, but doing it differently. Not in the traditional sense. Turning tradition on its head. And what tradition for you, you know, what's traditional for you. Very, very interesting, Virgo. That page of Ariel right in the center, the present for you. Rely the text on this card, reliable, clever, educated, balanced. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Again, something physical, something manifest, something that will last the test of time. So, you know, make sure that it's what you want. Scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. Again, it could be an actual gift of money, an, uh, an investment in you, or you also investing in something but you get to choose. You're free to do what you choose here. Two pages, right? The page of Michael, the page of Ariel. New beginnings. Things being offered to you. Opportunities abound here. <laughs> Options abound. Freedom abounds. Now, sometimes we can get scared. Freedom feels overwhelming. You know, especially if you have been working really hard it feels like uh, something's been taken away from you. Nothing's being taken away from you. You're being given the gifts of space, freedom, opportunity. Okay, let me look at your money. This seems pretty cut and dry for you. And I think it's also very open, you know? Options, freedom, the Eight of Raphael, the Eight of Cups. It may have been a difficult time for you, Virgo. As I mentioned, because you're used to doing things a certain way. But with that Eight of Raphael in their recent past, maybe even coming into your present, um, it's going to be different for everybody. It can feel confusing sometimes when you're being called towards something, but you can't see what it is yet. And again, that freedom can feel frightening. <laughs> but it's really playful. It's really joyful. Again, you're kind of here. Hello, world. <laughs> I'll let you pop up again. What's out there for me? And who's with me here? Who's my pod? You know, who wants to play with me? I feel like there's more, a greater sense of play here, which is kind of why I say maybe that you turn in tradition on its head. What's traditional for you may have been to like really hard work, and now you're like, I'm going to do something completely different. <laughs> maybe you're used to working for a corporation, and now you're like, I'm going to work part time from home and pursue my yoga certification. <laughs> you know, I don't know, part time. There's just so many different ways this can play in, which is always exciting. All right, let's take a peek at your money, Virgo. There may be someone waiting to partner with you as well.
you know, and I say that not only because I'm looking at the dolphins, but I'm looking at, uh, like, I guess this is supposed to be Raphael here calling her, but I also feel like there may be someone, you know, kind of, maybe they haven't manifested yet, but their energy is calling to you. So it's not just an opportunity or a desire on your part to go somewhere, find some kind of meaning or something more meaningful, but there's something or someone, and I feel like for some of you it's actually an individual who's wanting to partner with you in this new, more meaningful space you're moving into. Time will tell. You may in enter into a, an unconventional relationship or partnership here with that divine guidance in reverse, the higher fun in reverse. The Empress in reverse and the King of Cups under the deck. Could be a water sign uh, under the deck here who's somehow involved in your money. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces individual. Could just be you being very emotionally savvy, watching, watching your money. Being aware more about how emotions play into our money. But with the Empress in reverse here during this particular time frame, just, you know, <laughs> A note of caution, Virgo, to watch your overspending. You know, you don't need to have every everything that you want right away. You know, you're in this process of moving and changing and growing. Um, and the Empress in Reverse can be, um, can indicate spending more than you have, you know, or, or being a bit more frivolous or superficial with your money. And if there's an individual involved, it could be a, possibly a woman or a mother figure um, or someone who just demands a lot of money and time away from work maybe when this influences your money. The Empress in reverse can be very kind of self-centered and um, superficial. So just be careful of that. Now, I don't hate to say be careful, but just, you know, a cautionary tale here that there could, it could veer into something that, that could um, cost you more than is is necessary because uh, we tend to overspend with the Empress in reverse. And if it's an individual, um, they can be very demanding, <laughs> you know. So, okay, I hope that you find that helpful, Virgo. I will see you on the next video or at your private appointment or if you would like a video reading, you can order those on the website as well. And if you are interested, I do have my weekly spiritual guidance videos that I release every Sunday usually. And you can listen to all of my videos in audio format um, on the podcast or links below. And in the meantime, I wish you much love as always.